Adobe Firefly Image 2 model. Can it compete with Midjourney? So let's just get into it. When you come to firefly.adobe.com, this is what you will see. And what we are gonna look at is the text to image. Now this is what Adobe has recently updated to make better. So let's just click generate here. And straight off the bat, you can see other generations that other people have done. I am going to directly compare this to Midjourney. And I'm going to do this by using the same prompts and just seeing which ones come out better. So first let's try a prompt out in Adobe Firefly. I am going to keep this simple and do the problem with Gen Z. So we're gonna keep it vague to start and then we will get into more detail as we go. Generate. So this took about 10 seconds to generate and these are some very interesting images. As you can see in this right hand side here, the content type is selected on art. So I want to try and make this a little bit more realistic. So I'm gonna click on photo here and then I will regenerate it. Okay, so we have a girl here who looks a little cross-eyed <laughs> and then we have some other ones with some random text in them, just some kids on their phones here. Because we want to compare how these would work with thumbnails and in videos as images, I'm actually going to simply change the aspect ratio, which you can do easily within this Firefly by just selecting here and then going to widescreen. And now we have these 16 by nine aspect ratio. And I'm actually going to go back to art. I think I liked the art more than the photo. I think photo is good if you're really trying to go for a stock image look, like it looks pretty damn realistic. But let's go back to art here. Content type, let's, let's up the visual intensity all the way and then let's regenerate. Okay, so I'm not really sure <laughs> what these are saying. I think the prompt is just a little bit too vague for the AI to run here. I'm going to quickly cross reference this. So I've just run the exact same prompt in mid journey and this is what we got. And I like this a lot better. I feel like this gets across my idea a lot more and actually shows you like what the issue with Gen Z is with, with them on their devices. So one zero to mid journey. Obviously throughout this video, I'm going to break down the differences between mid journey and the Firefly AI, but stay tuned until the end for a comprehensive breakdown where I will give you my final thoughts and opinion on what is better. Now I'm going to make it a lot more specific. Let's do an astronaut. Now one thing I do like about a Firefly too is that it gives you suggestions as you're typing. So even if you're not very creative, it just gives you some ideas here. I like the idea of an astronaut standing on top of a hill at sunset and then it gives you even more ideas. So you literally can just think of the first few words of what you want to do and then it can generate the rest for you. If mountains, oh with the Milky Way above, I like that. And then spaceship land and starry sky. Oh there's more. So we're gonna go with that. I'm going to try the auto mode which will decide if it should be in photo or art mode and just let it go. A little bit more similar to what mid journey would do. And wow, I actually quite like th this third one's really interesting. It looks like it's from directly from a third person astronaut game, except the helmet is facing the wrong way. But these two, the first two are really cool. I think the astronaut looks a little shrunk here. It's not very proportionate, but this one is super cool. I really like that. So I'm gonna give that a thumbs up. And then it looks like you can click on more options and then just download it. Now I want to try out some of these effects here. So let's click the synth wave. You can click multiple effects, but I'm just going to start with the synth wave. Color and tone. Okay, so we have some options here. I'm gonna do vibrant color. Lighting, I want golden hour. Composition, we will keep that the same. It looks like we can change the aperture. So it's like if you have a real camera and you're actually taking these photos, which is super cool. I'm going to make this f-stop a lot lower so that there is, is more of a bokeh effect. Uh, that might be a little too much. We'll do f2.8. We don't really want any motion blur here, I don't think. Let's generate with all those things in mind. Okay, so I don't actually like these quite as much. The first one looks a little bit fake to me, like the lighting is really there. The second one is weird. The third one doesn't quite look like an astronaut. And the fourth one's good. I like the fourth one. Now I want to try out this match which can match a style from your own reference image. So if you have an image with a style that you want to recreate, say if you're making thumbnails that are all in the same style um, every single time for your, your channel branding, then you could just upload it here and set that style. I'm actually going to use the reference image gallery. I think I like this because of all the bright colors going on, and I'm going to see how that affects these generated images. And as you can see, it really did match the style. Now, I don't think any of these really look that great, probably because it was trying to match just a very, very surreal style. But but honestly, like these astronauts just look way too curvy. <laughs> All right, so I am now going to go to Mid Journey. Now I've already used Mid Journey a lot recently and I want to see with this exact same prompt how it can do. So with Mid Journey, you always have to start with Imagine to start the prompt. You can press tab to instantly select that. 
and then I will copy the same exact prompt that we had, and then I need to add the aspect ratio at the end using dash dash AR 16 by nine. And let's generate that. And so one thing that is nice about Firefly is that it's very user friendly, right? With Mid Journey, you have to know different commands if you really want to achieve the look that you're going for. But honestly, after like a day of playing with it, it gets really, really easy. But yeah, with Firefly, obviously we can just select an aspect ratio instead of typing it in. And the user interface is all just very, very clean and very easy to use. Now let's see what Mid Journey created. And I mean, these, these are just a lot better. <laughs> if I'm being honest, these are they're just so much cooler. I think the amount of investment just because Mid Journey has been ahead for so long that they are able to throw into their image generation is just far and beyond better than what Adobe will be able to do for a little while. The only thing here that I'm noticing is that the people aren't really astronauts. Like maybe the second one is, if you really wanted, you could take this image, go into Photoshop and then generative fill here. One thing that is nice about Firefly in this aspect is that you can click on the image that you wanna change by going to edit in the top left corner. And there are a lot of features that enable you to change small things with a lot more customization than in Mid Journey and a lot more control. So you can use the gen fill to select, select this, this area here and then say astronaut and generate. And what that will do is create some astronaut images here. But also like, look at this, this is very low res. I know this is the style um, to fit in, but it's just not to the mid journey level in terms of image generation. So which one should you use? Obviously you can make your own decision from what you just saw and also feel free to play around with it yourself. But I think I'm going to be sticking with mid journey just because I think the image creation is so worth the extra $10 a month that I am paying right now. Mid journey is just a little bit ahead of Adobe and Fire Firefly in terms of quality and image generation. I don't think Firefly is too far off, and I think there are ways that you can definitely get the most out of it, but it feels to me that Mid Journey will almost every time will give you something that is just a lot more put together, a lot cleaner than Firefly will at this point. I will say that Firefly is doing really well with these photo type images, and I think if you can really nail your prompts down, and if you have very specific things that you need to make, Firefly can definitely be of use. And of course, it allows you to treat the images like you're actually taking them with a real camera by changing the things like aperture, shutter speed, and field of view. So Firefly 2 is definitely super cool and it's a big step up from Firefly 1, but in my opinion, it still has a way to go until it can reach the level of Mid Journey and even Dolly 3. But let me know what you think down in the comments and what you are going to use in the future for your projects. And hopefully we keep seeing big improvements across the board for these new AI tools. It's super awesome to see and it's saving a lot of time for a lot of people. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.